Dana and I, growing up, talked about how we dreamed of marrying tall, handsome cowboys. I couldn't believe that her perfect man had been in Northwest Oklahoma, her favorite place in the world, this whole time. We've known Dak since he was a little ornery boy cheering on the cowboys and running around at the cowboy caravan tailgate. Little did we know that one day he would join our family. I enjoyed hearing how God brought y'all together. You guys have gone from being childhood friends that like to torture each other, from what you tell me, to now being in love and getting married tonight. And so my how things change, right? Dax and I grew up together and we would get ready for the OSU banquets every year. The bathrooms had swinging doors. Well, he'd stick a butter knife in the hinge and lock me in the men's restroom until someone heard me crying to let me out every year. I guess I ended up locking her in the bathroom because I had a little crush on her probably. That was the way little boys work, I guess. <laughs> she really likes to tell that story to everybody. I'll never forget when Jada called me after an OSU game and said that she was with Dax Greenwald and wanted me to come and meet up with him. When I got there, I saw a sparkle in Jada's eyes and I knew that Dax was the one. The smile on her face confirmed the hunch I'd had since their so-called friendship rekindled in Las Vegas. Braden and I went on a graduation trip. On my 21st birthday, Leah was with me. She was like, Jada. There's two cute cowboys. You can have the tall one, but there's cute cowboys. Turn around. I turned around and it was Dax and Braden. I just started dying laughing. I was like, I grew up with him. I've kind of been there from the start. I've been on a stranded boat in the middle of the lake with Daxton. Jada texted him to let him know that she was single. And I've never seen a guy get so happy while paddling with his shotgun. As a promise, as a promise, of keeping my vows, of keeping my vows, and loving you today, and loving you today, tomorrow, tomorrow, and as long as we both shall live, and as long as we both shall live. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? By the power vested in me by the authority of Jesus Christ in the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Dax, Kim and I have known you since you were in preschool. 
that little boy with a grin became a handsome, hardworking, kind man with a smile that lights Jada's heart. Over the last two years, we have known you were the right man for our daughter. And we're proud to welcome you into our family.